Hey guys, this is Coop with CNT Designs and Arms Goo. Um, <laughs> I kind of got out of order on this video. Um, and let me roll back up to the top of this because we're going to have to start again. This was introduced on January 4th, 2021. This is by Sheila Jackson Lee. Now, this is not a anti-gun law. This is an anti-gun bill. What she wants to do is hire 200 more ATF agents to come in, prosecute you for crimes that aren't hurting anybody, and shoot your freaking dog. So we created a piece of artwork for this one like we did with the last. This is HB121. I know it's kind of hard to see. We got the big middle finger. And we got two dead dogs on it. And we got the Fook, the AFT. And this is a single piece design just in honor of this bill. Um, and I'll try to post some pictures and stuff of this where you can see it a little better. But again, all federal gun laws are absolutely unconstitutional and she wants to hire 200 more people to enforce these unconstitutional gun laws. Ah, man, this stuff just, it gets crazier and crazier. Like I said, in 100 days, they introduced over 100 bills that are completely anti-gun. The Democrats, I should say. So, if we go into Section 1, this can be cited as the Gun Violence Reduction Resources Act of 2021. When we get into Section 2, uh, she gets into the findings. So, Section 2, the first part of Section 2, says that on average, more than 100,000 people in the United States are shot in murders. They throw it out there at first to try to drive home this emotional point. In murders, assaults, and other crimes, and more than 32,000 people die from gun violence annually, including 2,677 children under the age of 18. Now, let's play with the actual facts in those numbers. And you can go to the Department of DOJ, look at the Uniform Crime Statistics every year, and you can see this stuff. One, 100,000 people shot in a year. That does not account for defensive shootings. That does not count for accidental shootings. Um, they're trying to make this out like it's this huge crime epidemic, which crime's getting worse in some areas, but that is due to the actual Democrats that are putting bills like this in place. Um, the 32,000 people a year, that's complete horse shit. Two-thirds of those people are suicides. They would kill themselves, whether they did it with poison, whether they did it with pills, whether they did it with rope, you name it. They would kill themselves anyway. If you don't believe me, look at Japan. No guns, higher rate of suicide than the United States. What do you want? If people want to kill themselves, they are going to. Uh, when we're talking about the children, so-called children in this under the age of 18, a lot of times, by the time these kids are reaching 18, they're already gangbanging, selling dope, breaking into houses, doing carjackings, you name it. These kids aren't shot just walking down the street with their school uniform on, being a choir boy. There are very few of these children that are actually killed innocently by a firearm. And when they do, it's fucking tragic. Uh, wasn't too long back here uh, in a town that I'm right in. There was a young boy that was killed riding home in the back seat of his parents' car. I think the kid was like 10 or 12, 8 or 12, something like that. Wasn't doing anything. He got caught in a crossfire in between two gangs shooting at one another. It's absolutely insane. But there's nothing you can do about those people who have such a lack of of respect for life other than find them for the crimes they commit and put them in prison and you can keep them in prison so they can't do that to anybody else. I know a guy that hell it's probably again eight years ago now. Young guy, good dude. Wouldn't hurt anybody. Same pound. Went to his mailbox, checked the mail one afternoon Got robbed, shot in the leg, bled out. They wouldn't hurt anybody. But it's not the gun's fault. It's the person that actually pulled that damn trigger. They'd get a weapon regardless. They'd have killed him with a knife. They'd have run him over with a car. These people have no respect whatsoever for life. 
So that's my rant on that. That's that's the personal end. So let's get back to something I can make fun of, like Sheila Jackson Lee and her dumbass twists and statistics. Um, many of the we'll get into clause too. Many of these crimes were committed by people who never should have been able to purchase a gun. These people are not going to F federal firearms licensees and purchasing firearms. They are not doing an average person-to-person -person transfer. They're going to their freaking crack house and getting these guns. If you don't believe me, I could probably drive not more than 10 miles from here, go over into the main part of town, and I could go find you a crack house all day long where you can get anything you want. You're trying to prosecute law-abiding people for stuff that criminals don't care about. Let's go to finding three. Okay, each year, hundreds of law enforcement officers lose their lives to gun violence. There's no such thing as gun violence. There's violence committed with a gun, but there's no such thing as a gun causing the violence. And it says shot having, being shot to death while protecting their communities. Yes, police officers die. It's a horrible thing. The people who kill them, what can I say? Prosecute them to the further extent of the law. All right, getting on to where we at? Number four. Okay, millions of guns are sold every year. No questions asked. Transactions. Uh, this is bullshit. Experts ex estimate 40% um, of the guns uh, sold in the United States are sold without a background check. Which, it's personal person sales. That's all it is. I own a piece of property. My piece of property looks like this. So what? That piece of property goes bang. I choose to sell that to somebody. I cover it in my last bill. According to that bill, if I sold two of those or more, well, I'm a gun trafficker. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. What matters is that individual's responsibility for their own actions. Um, let's get into this. Uh, we get into section three. Um, alcohol, tobacco, or the additional Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms and Explosive Agents Investigators. This is where they get. They want to hire 200 more ATF agents to enforce federal gun laws that are absolutely unconstitutional in the first place. Again, we get to the, you do something we think is wrong, we get to come in and shoot your dogs, and much like other cases, even if we shoot your dogs and we arrest you, and even if we're proven to be wrong in our assessment, uh, you get to still spend thousands of dollars, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars, fighting the charges. Because in a lot of cases, the process is the punishment. Solvent traps, bump stocks, you name it. Legally pro legally owned products. But they will prosecute you and punish you just because. You haven't heard anybody. If, if you, someone made a machine gun tonight, they fired it all day long, they shot hundreds of thousands of rounds through it and never heard a fly, is there a victim? Nope. But if they find you with the right components, they're going to charge you with um, what do they call it? constructive possession. 200 or more agents to do that kind of stuff. Completely unconstitutional laws. If you don't believe these people want to take your guns or put you in prison for the rest of your natural born life or just bankrupt you, you're wrong. Congress.gov, get on there, do some simple searches. You'll see what these guys are doing. And I'm going to try like hell to use stuff like this to build the company, to stockpile my designs, and to show what these guys are doing. Y'all keep it safe. Y'all be cool. Keep them guns out. Later.